A few years ago, I had an increased need for working in new ways. My main goal was to find a way to work on projects whether I was in the studio or at home without sacrificing quality or security. Well, my research led me to Synology, and today I'm gonna to walk you through what it is and how I use it. Synology Network Attached Storage, or NAS for short, provides a centralized location on a network to store your data. But it can go beyond that. Synology also enables you to build a private cloud to store, access, backup, and share your files freely and securely. Chances are you might be paying for a service like Dropbox. Well, the annual subscription to a service like that could easily get you into your very own private cloud with Synology. What's really great is there are no monthly fees that you would typically have with a cloud storage solution. Once you're set up, it's really simple to expand your storage as your needs grow. There are many use cases for a product like Synology. Perhaps you need to back up PCs or Macs automatically, organize old media, or maybe you need to secure your home or business with private video surveillance. Well, Synology can be a solution to help you manage any of those scenarios. Let's take a look at a few benefits that I think are gonna be most helpful to working creatives like myself. The first benefit I'd like to discuss is being able to customize your storage. Synology NAS allows you to securely store terabytes of data at your home or office without any monthly fees that traditionally come with cloud storage. Their NAS and expansion units support a variety of hard disk and flash drives, which allows you to adjust your storage to fit your needs. If you're not sure where to start, there's a cool NAS selector on the Synology website that guides you to product options after you've input how you may want to use it. Unlike traditional RAID setups, Synology allows you to mix and match hard drive brands and capacities. The second benefit I'd like to discuss is being able to securely access and share your files. For me, security is number one. I never want my clients to think twice about security. And the simplicity of storing, accessing, and sharing data is what Synology does best. You can upload files at the speed of your local connection, share them quickly through secured sharing links, and access them through any browser, desktop, or mobile device. For example, when I have a mixed project come in, I can quickly open my Synology and begin to get that project moving forward. I'll start by creating a file request for my client. If you're not familiar with what a file request is, it's essentially a predefined location or folder where others can upload files into using the link that you send them. I'll send my client an email that includes some kickoff information. That email evolves, but typically includes when I'll start the mix and when the client is likely to see a first mix from me, a link to a mix prep guide that helps my clients prepare their song in a manner that will make the project go smoothly, an invoice, and I'll also include that Synology file request link. My client then uploads their program material to this predefined location on my system by clicking on that file request link that I sent them. That link is their actual working project folder, and when I plug into work, those files are there waiting for me. The Synology allows me to do this from anywhere, but most importantly, it streamlines that process since it's one central and secure location. I'll often prepare a mix session at home, and then I'll come into the studio to begin working on the mix. I can't stress enough how much this has helped me. Separating those technical tasks from the creative ones is something I'd suggest everyone try. Let's touch on the third benefit, being able to expand your storage as you go. When it came time for me to buy new hard drives a few years ago, I calculated how much storage I had used in previous years, as well as the total price that I had spent on those external hard drives. With that data in mind, I started my Synology journey. I'm currently using two Synology products. I had the DS223 at home, which is a two-bay product, and here at the studio, I have the larger DS418, which is a four-bay product. The DS418 is maxed with 16 terabyte hard drives in each bay, and the DS223 has a mixture of compatible drives. This is one of my favorite parts of this product. The way I understand things is that in a traditional RAID setup, you had to have matched hard drives but the Synology allows you to mix brands and storage capacities as you go. There's a nice compatibility chart on the website that outlines compatible hard drives for each product that they offer. Now that we've taken a look at the hardware, let's dive into the software side of Synology. Specifically, I'd like to touch on DSM, Synology Drive, and ShareSync. 
These are the software components that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But before we dive into that, for added context, I'd like to show you the whole ecosystem. If you take a look at this graphic, you can see that we have Synology Drive in the top left. That's a web portal for regular users. And in the top middle, you've got the admin console where you do all your admin configuration. In the top right, you have Synology Drive, ShareSync. This is where you do the cross-site file syncing. And below that, you have your actual hardware unit, which is the Synology Drive server itself. Below that, you've got your clients. So we're talking about web browsers, desktop agents, mobile apps, and then even additional Synology units. Synology Drive is what transforms your Synology NAS into your own private cloud with 100% data ownership and zero additional cost. With Synology Drive, you can access, edit, and share files from any browser. There's also a mobile app that enables you to browse, edit documents, view and share images, stream music and videos, and even back up your data directly from your smartphone or tablet. When I'm on the move, I'll often jump into Synology Drive and grab a file or update sharing permissions from one of my projects. It's really handy and provides a modern day workflow that we're all used to. Synology Drive also includes ShareSync, which keeps files and folders synchronized across multiple Synology units. This is how I work between home and the studio. I'm not gonna walk through all the details on how to set this up, but essentially once you create a directory, you can decide some parameters for how this directory syncs between multiple Synology products. Now I use this method called a two-way sync. That allows me to create and change files remotely and they'll sync here at the studio. I can also work here at the studio and that data is synced back to my NAS at home. That way I can work on the same file in either location. As you can see, using Synology has provided me with a lot of flexibility for my growing business. The ability to have a centralized hub for all my files and to be able to store, access, backup, and share those files securely is really great. If you're looking for something similar, I cannot recommend this product enough. I hope you found this one helpful. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.